MFM2, MFM2. You know, we caught something going on with like dogs, man, like, and we was wondering, you know, we saw it, like, they, you that know, was, we, but we, we heard anything from Doug, so we don't know what to make of it. I'll be honest, but, yeah, you know, you know what it is. The internet world people will always not understand the real life of the road people. Yeah. And that's what it is. They need to understand that Killer P, when you see me on the road, I'm a road man. And when you see me in the studio, I'm just being artistic. But, you know, people mix it up and think, because I've sent for Dirty Dogs, they don't know the, the story behind it, number one. Mm. Number two, they don't understand that when an artist has got a certain level in the industry, when he doesn't want to work with a younger artist in his career, he's young in his career, it doesn't mean he's young in his age, he's young in his career. So if you could have worked with me, you would have mostly helped me progress a bit more, mostly would have made me rise my level again. Yeah. But because you didn't want to work with me, yeah. and it's people like those that I see that are holding back the young artists in the industry, innit? So I lick out against them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Dirty Dogs is still one of my favourites. You know what I mean? I don't bad mind nobody. <laughs> yeah. I still play him in my house. You get me? Mm. Hang tight, dirty dogs, wherever you're hiding. But you don't know. You don't know. Killer Ferreira, the realist, is riding. Yes. <laughs> ah. So, obviously, we know that um, you're still a part of the whole Road Deep situation, yeah? Yeah. And obviously, Road Deep, you guys have got a new album, new deal. Yeah. Congratulations but, on that. That's a big no, look. No, no, but you got to understand, oh. like, right now. Okay. <laughs> you know, say killer don't deal with the fruity music too tough still, and it's the uh, industry. Like the no, no, I'm gonna yeah, just okay. straighten it up so you know where I'm from. It's right. WA Tech 9 where we are standing right here. <laughs> right? So I'm gonna keep it breezy. Ain't tight deep power car, the only one of my dog that will cross the bridge regular. So hear what I'm saying though. No. You see when it comes to um the the road deep situation, remember they will only put killer P on the real <laughs> tune them. They don't I would not ever jump on a shaker leg tune. No disrespect to the man that one shaker leg but and the industry, because you have to have that for them. Me, I do not do, I don't do them kind of music. They, they know I'm Gaza straight, so they call me on them kind of beats. You get me? So just simple as that. Bearing that in mind, you won the album. No, I haven't even. The album ain't started yet. Oh. Everyone's hyping about the uh, the album. The album ain't even started yet. There's a few tunes for a list. That's the tunes that they're pushing so far. That's just singles. Yeah. That's nothing to do with the album. The album's on the table at the moment. And I'm end up sorting out their deal, but yeah, I'm a part of the thing. But at the same time, I have to remember I'm from South, so I've got to be regulating and pushing the artists in South as well. So I've built my own studio. Warrior Recordings is my label. Cemetery Warriors is my new group, as well as my Road Deep crew. You know what I go on. I tap my soul, what dogs them. Still yeah. never made it on the journey, but I ain't forgot nobody because you don't know we had the art and the music from the start. You see me? But yeah, that's where it is. Hard to kill. That's my new project coming out. Killer Instincts out in HMV at the moment. Credit Crunch is a 199 uh, um, pence CD that I put out, which you're gonna see a lot of young artists fruit like passing through that little umbrella. You get me? So look out for that. That's in HMV for 199. You get me? Mm. That's what I'm dealing with right now. Progress and the man I'm for progress around me, you know. Otherwise, mm. it's not worth it. Mm. See what I'm saying? Dirty Dogs, pass argument. Big H. Oh, I, was gonna, see, that's I know, I, I know yeah. you was going to go into it. So you know, no, nah, you know why I say that though? Because what? a lot of people probably wouldn't even ask you. I hear them say Rodi. Okay. You know okay. everyone else, whatever. I don't hear. I listen out for Killer P, but I don't hear Killer P. I've always been doing that. Yeah. But I heard Killer P though. But your, but the thing is though, your Rodi. deep, so same way. No, but man, if I don't understand. So I never uh, born and grow in East London. SW Tech 9, I reckon that's where I born and grow in it. So the mentality is always going to be in my skin and my bones and my DNA in it. They say bloodline. Bloodline is something where a man can contaminate. You see, when man say DNA, that is something that you can chop up and chop up and chop up. And when you piece it back together, it's the same somebody, same thing. You can't contaminate the DNA. Your DNA is whatever it is. Mm. Bloodline is something that can be contaminated. You can catch AIDS. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, you you basically you ain't watching the sender. You ain't watching it. None, really. What it is? I've sent for him. I've sent for H on on YouTube. Not sent for him, but I just replied because I heard that he put something up on Facebook, saying I won't say it on air because you know we're not allowed. Yeah. But he had whatever he had to say, and I've heard him saying a lot about everybody else in the scene, and he might know their history, and he might have nothing like no one else might not want to say nothing. Me, I've always been a hothead, and I will speak out. I man know me, one up, I always do my thing. You don't see me riding. I've always been in the ends. Kill free car, driving around, tinted window. You know how I do my thing. It's nothing, but them guys don't know me, so they shouldn't have called my name. Called my name in an idiot argument. When I phoned him, he said he's in probation. Well, for a bad boy, if, a bad, if you're calling up a bad man's name and a bad man call you, 
You're not supposed to be telling him, oh, I'm in probation, fam, phone me back in 10 minutes. That's an idiot thing. You're supposed to be dealing with it straight on, head on. So you show me the levels are different. Straight away from that car, the music we're dealing with, promoting the right thing. That man is long. No more promotion for Bloodline because Bloodline is the dumb time. I'm dealing with the right thing. The right essence, the right energy. That man is talking about shotgun thing, shotgun thing. Them thing that's old. It's better you talk about an old cannon where you go behind a light. <laughs> yeah, I have a brand new machine around this side of town. <laughs> Tell them boy for cross the bridge. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know where everyone else is from, but obviously I know where everyone's from, innit? So I'm not gonna lie, innit? <laughs> a man said that they come into my ends. They, they phoned me, he phoned me the other day and said, yeah. Like, I've got South Goons as well, I'm coming to South, da 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 I said, so why you never come? You know where I'm at, I'm in West Norwood. Everyone knows, because I don't have, come on, you might know I don't hide from the man I'm in the ghetto. I'm always here, whether I've got money or not, mm. whatever I'm doing, whether I'm down or I'm up or I'm right, you know, I'm not. Yeah. J-Lo Road. That's how I stay in it, but you can't bring empty for it to man, because you know, it's an empty barrel make the most nice. Mm. And in Southside, we have the most guys.